Log4j, you had one job. One job! What was that job? <laughs> Log statements. Log.info. Log.debug. Log.error. Simple, right? You would think. But they tried to get fancy. Whole API thing. Totally get it. But the thing about this endpoint being exposed is that now these people can exploit it. They can, you know, send URLs that can install things in your hardware or your software, things like that. Um, I've heard them deploying crypto miners and leveraging your power and your GPUs to process Bitcoin transactions. It's not a knock on the crypto market. I mean, it's just an innovative way to make some Bitcoin, but it is what it is. Like, let's get around this hack. Let's update our libraries, update our packages, update to the latest version of different apps that we have installed on our phones, on our computers, and make sure that, you know, we, we cut this uh, exploit off, right? It's been around since 2013, so, you know, these guys have been leveraging CPU power for years. Sad that, you know, it had to be someone like the gaming community to identify this hack. And it's been deployed in major corporations. They're scrambling fighter jets. This is, you know, alarm 10 out of 10. Engineers, you're staying up till 2, 3 a.m. Good luck with that, you know. But it is what it is. We're going to get through this hack, you know, make sure you update and stay vigilant when it comes to to these type of exploits. So if you notice anything, report it. You know, pretty proud of the Minecraft community for identifying this hack. So, you know, let's move on. Peace.